Welcome back, fellow gamers. Uh, this is Kyle Laurie, and uh, I'm bringing you a video um, discussing the different video game controllers that you can install in your arcade cabinet. What I'm going to cover is the several different models of sticks that I've encountered. I don't know every single stick that's out there, but I can at least tell you about what my experience has been. The first one I'm going to talk about here is the basic HAP Super Arcade Stick. Then there is the HAP Ultimate. And back when I first started out buying game controllers, joysticks, um, I thought that the Ultimate was the best. That's not necessarily true. Then there's the HAP Competition. The HAP Competition is a copy of the IL uh, competition, Euro, competition Euro Stick, it's called. And there's uh, two other sticks here. They're both the same, essentially. But these is what the, I ran into these in my uh, Capcom versus SNK cabinet. And I was always curious about what it would be like to use one of these controllers. Um, these are the Perfect 360 um, optical arcade sticks. These are made by Wicco. Now, if you go to buy them, they're made by HAP. I can't tell you what the half ones are like, but I can tell you what these are like, and I assume that they'll be sim similar. Also, I have is the IL competition, which is in my my uh, Capcom vs. SNK cabinet. Um, it's essentially identical to the half one, and a lot of gamers prefer the ILs and think the ILs is superior to the half version. Okay, first up here, this is the half super arcade stick, um, and by no means, in my opinion, is this super in any way. So. You've got that little red lever right there, red, red switch. This here, this little lever, gets pressed and activates it. And the premise here is that the center actuator, which is this round rubber piece on this metal shaft, will activate the directions as you rotate around. Now the problem is, is that there's a bias. Um, pressing this way is more sensitive, like if you're looking at this switch, if you press up, if you press this direction here, you're, it's actually more sensitive than if you press down here because of the angle of the stick. And it also makes pressing a diagonal direction uh, pretty darn difficult. Um, it's very difficult and games require quarter circle uh, rotations. So that's, this is the Super. And I would highly recommend that you have this, if you have this in your machines, to replace it with a competition just because of the, the just, it's just better all around. Second up are, these are the HAP Ultimates. And design-wise, they're similar to the HAP competition. They have a square actuator in the center um, with the same micro switches. But you'll see here, the center shaft has got two notches for, for settings. That's to adjust the depth of the stick. Um, overall, it's not a horrible joystick, but in comparison to the competition, it's just not as good. The, it's a little more jerky feeling in the rotational movement. Um, it's not horrible. The actuator is larger, so it requires um, more of a... I mean, the whole area that it's activated in is larger. It requires more distance. Um, it's just not as accurate. It's not as uh, smooth or... I, I can't really put a word in it, but they're okay. Just I find that my performance playing in games is not as good with this controller. Now, here, this is the HAP competition. Brand new one right here. And you'll see here, it's got the square actuator in the center. Now, the interesting thing, a lot of people dislike the HAP competition over the IL. And the reason for that is because, if you look here, this HAP competition's got black plastic. Now, originally, they did have a white plastic, you know, uh, nylon. Not this size, this is, a, this is an ultimate one. But this is the one that's in there. This is black, black uh, PVC. The original... Um, ha IL design uses a piece of white nylon, which is just slipperier, it, I don't know, it's sturdier, and it, act, it's, it spins better on the shaft. Um, its movement is better. The original, when they moved the production to China, and they switched to using black plastic here, it was too tight. You see how easily this one spins? The first generation of the, of the new production line were too tight and it just, it was horrible. It would happen if the actuator gets stuck in some weird position and it wouldn't work right. Um, they've since fixed that. When I buy um, competition sticks, I buy them from Lizard Lick and most of the times I buy the white, additional white actuators to go with it. This one just doesn't have one. I have it, I just haven't installed it. It's because this is just the way it comes, just like this. Another thing is you'll, the, the way tell HAP competition stick is it has a black dust ring here. The ILs have orange. Now, my concern when I, because I got the, the half competitions, and I loved them. I thought they were great. 
my Marvel vs. Capcom came with an IL competition stick in it. This is what you're looking at right here. Um, I mean, it's, it's, I think I got a spring. The spring's out of it right now, but this this was. There's another one that I had that was. It's all cleaned up, but this is the one I have that's not not apart right now. And you can see it's essentially identical. Um, and you see that this spins here. Now the only problem I had with this, the stick was horrible. I mean, it wouldn't. You couldn't activate. Look, I'm trying to see here. I'm trying to press a diagonal, and it just. It's very difficult to get it in that diagonal position here. It's very difficult, and it was. It's hard even in the test mode to get a get a diagonal press to come up accurately. So I thought that the IL sticks were just garbage. And ignore the fact that this one goes like this because I got one that doesn't do that. The springs out of this one. Um, so I was like, I decided I was like, hap sticks, way to go. ILs while they were the original, not as good. So I was a little anxious about buying them. When I got my Marvel, my Capcom vs SNK it came with these here. These are the Wico Perfect 360s, and the the thing that people like about these is that they won't wear out um, because they're optical, just like an optical mouse. The only thing here is that when you're looking at this, um, they work great. You know that they, they have a there's little slots. You can, if they're down in, they're down in here, little slots where the eyes are, and as soon as you move in a certain direction, it activates that switch. And it uses five. They need plus five volts for them to work. Um, the issue I had with these that I didn't like about them is one, the spring was really stiff. It's very difficult to press them. I mean, I like the, the ball tops. That's kind of fun. Most of mine are bat tops. It's kind of cool to have a ball top. Um, but the other issue was is uh, double tapping. It just doesn't, it's so sensitive, it's hard to double tap the right way. It just always reads on as soon as you just touch it a little bit. So, you know, if you're doing a circular motion, it works great. It works really nice. It's smooth. I mean, except for the fact that the spring's really tough. Really very stiff. Same thing this one. You see it's a, slight, a different revision on it. These are both made by Wicco. And I don't know what the half ones are like, but still, this one's very stiff. The hole is just a different size, and it has screw mount posts versus spades here. So, I took these out. Um, I'm going to hold on to them. I don't know if I'll ever use them in anything, but they're kind of cool to have. And they're $34 each to buy them brand new from HAP. What you're looking at right here is the uh, IL version of the competition. This is the original competition stick, and I have this in my Capcom vs. SNK cabinet that I just finished uh, re redoing. Okay, so here is, here is the IL version, the newest one. And you see it, it it's... I would say it's identical to the new HAPs, except for it's having the white actuators, which I put the white actuators in the HAP ones. The only real difference you're getting when you buy one of these ILs in my current, in, in the, the current state they're in, and I'm a big fighting game user, is that the, the IL ones have a color matching dust washer, which is really nice to have. Um, I like that. Uh, I also like that I get them in orange, because this goes well with the color scheme on this cabinet. So, in this case, I took the risk. I was worried that they would be bad as the ones that came in with Marvel vs. Capcom. They aren't. They're actually real, just as good as the, uh, the HAP ones. Okay, so, just to review on here, I think if you're buying an arcade stick and you're looking for the best dollar for your money to buy the HAP competition, I would ignore all the other sticks. They're just not the perfect 360s too stiff. All the other ones just don't perform as well as the stick does. The only other stick that you might want to get would be the IL version, which is identical in its way it plays. can't find any differences with it. Um, if, you're, if you are concerned about the actuator, buy the nylon actuator when you buy them from Lizard Lick. That's the cheapest place to buy them from. And uh, if you want a colored dust washer, buy the ILs. But any other reason, get the competition. They have the competition. These are the best dollar for the money. Um, again, just all up to you what color schemes you want.